at a minimum, if somebody gets a contract that says you get a million dollar bonus if you screw up the company, uh, he probably invalidate that kind of contract. But in terms of a contract that says uh, you get a two million dollar salary and a two million dollar bonus, I would suspect that would go forward. Uh, I think the American people want capitalism, but if we're going to have socialism for some companies, they don't want capitalism for the executives of those companies. Congressman, we, I should just mention to our folks at home, too, we did call Ken Feinberg's office, but being as our, you know, he's free not to return any of those calls, and that's exactly what he did. He didn't return a lot. Um, well, let me ask you, Congressman. To this issue of czar is not really accountable to you guys in Congress, just to the president. Um, and obviously not the media, and especially me, and that could be personal, but I don't think it is. But, but what do you make of that? that? Does it bother you on any level, regardless of party affiliation, that you've got czars like this pay czar and these other ones popping up all over the place, and they uh, really don't have to answer to you? Well, if they change the name to advisor or monitor, um, then uh, we wouldn't be making such a big deal about it. I think the word czar has been cheapened to the point would where you there have are used people czar? in graves what in word Moscow. You, what word would you have come up with? If not czar, despot, what would you have I, I, I think he's a mere monitor. I don't think he's oh. a czar of any way. Uh, See, I Ivan think monitor, terrible, you know, that's not. a very good idea. I think monitor would have been a much easier sell. 16 monitors is, sounds a lot better than 16 czars. You know what I'm saying? Well, in the, what you want to do is create the image that you're doing something really big and really tough. Right. You especially want to do that when you're doing far less than the American people want you to do. And the way to do that is to take your monitor and give them uh, the title uh, czar. Oh, what that's I look a very forward to. Well, you're a great student of history, Congressman, and you know how it worked out for the last czar. Did, and I know you have influence in Washington. Did you ever tell anyone in the White House, hey, guys, uh, not, not good, the czar thing? Well, uh, people like being czars, hundreds yes. of years of unchecked power and opulence, followed by one execution. Uh, overall, it worked out pretty good for most of the czars. Uh, but uh, getting back to executive compensation, our hearings today focused on say on pay, where we let the shareholders vote on executive compensation. I think that makes a lot of sense, and it ought to be a binding vote, mm -hmm. not just an advisory vote, because we ought to have real capitalism, not crony capitalism. We ought to have the shareholders really in control of the corporation.